everybody, this is Katie Jo, and I am a drum painter, I am a drum maker, I am a rattle maker, and I teach shamanic philosophy. And today we're going to prepare a drum, and we're going to prepare the drum for painting. Now this is one of the most common questions that I get is, how do you prepare a drum? Now what we have here is I actually have a synthetic ocean drum. And as you can see, I have some leather drums here, but the process is exactly the same. Now an ocean drum, for some of you that maybe have never heard it or don't know what that is, this is an ocean drum and it sounds like the ocean. It's created by all of those little beads. Now it's really, really great to have that in sound healing. They do, and people do make the leather drums in those, but today we're going to be using synthetic. Now, when we're preparing a drum for painting, you need to be able to get the paint to stick. I've been doing this for hmm, a little over a decade, I think, or roughly that time, and I've always had luck with my drums, but part of that is in the prep work before you paint. If you don't do your prep work, then over time as you use the drum, ocean drum or regular drum, because the hide moves and vibrates with sound, it's actually going to cause the paint to start chipping. So we need to do what's called creating a tooth. A tooth is getting the hide or the synthetic drum ready to prepare the paint. We want to rough it up. My favorite thing to use is just a simple hardware foam sanding block. You want to have a high grip. If you're not familiar with what grip means on sandpaper or sanding blocks, the higher the number, the finer the, the stones are or the sand is on the sandpaper. And you want to have at least a 220. Now you take a 220 and you come along here and your goal is not, absolutely not, to sand into the drum, whether um, synthetic or leather, but you want to just very lightly go across the top like this, like I can even go on my hand. But you're roughing the surface up enough that it will receive the paint. And this is how it works. You wanna get around the edges, but when I see drums that have been sanded too much or when I see drums that have split, it's almost always around the edges. So that's where you're gonna be extra, extra. <laughs> That is as fast as it can go. If I wasn't doing the video, I might take a little more time and go a little bit slower. But now you understand the basics of how to prepare your drum in order to do a drum painting. You can find me at katiejoedrum.com and don't forget to click subscribe because I'm going to post lots of videos about how to paint and how to drum and sound healing. Have a great day.